Hi there, and welcome to the final demo video for Clockwork Stallings, the bonus video. Let's start our game, shall we? Alright, so first off, let's get our character. We're gonna choose, uh, let's see, ah! We move Spitfire as our partner, and then go Avidus as our primary. Now, we're back at this level because we're actually going to get our first hitting character. It's right at the first checkpoint you see. At the first sand pit in the game. And probably the only safe sand pit ever. And here we are. Now don't go to left because I think that will either make you fall off the map or exit the level. Which we don't want to do right now. So who could be hiding down here? Looks like we want to go left to find out, but let's not. I think there's anything over here. Nope. Yep. You know what? Yeah, there we go. Huh. That looks familiar. Alright, well, let's grab this stone. And we'll see who we got. Anyway, our next area is going to be um, over in Watto Woods. Now, this is a secret I should have seen coming a long time ago. Because you can actually see it right here. Just look just to the right where we're at. You can see it's like a, it looks like a path. There's something there. Let's go take a look and find out. Ah, it's a hidden level. Of course. So let's go in and see what we have here. Select a character. Alright, so we've unlocked Princess Celestia. She's got an attack at 10 and defense of 7. It's alright. But we can see what she really does when she actually comes into the level. So let's select Avidus as our partner and let's go. Or I guess we just keep Spitfire, whatever. <laughs> That's right. Celestia shoots lasers. And I believe she's the only one, or at least that we've seen so far, that can actually do a quadruple jump. Because a regular Pegasus can do triple. Yeah. Alright, let's keep going then. Now, yes, we can have only three lasers on screen at once. But since they do the max amount of damage, we're going to rip through any enemy we see. I gotta avoid those spikes though, man. Just look at that. He even pierces. Nice. And so, I think I'm gonna go... Hmm... Uh, down there, but I'm gonna go right. So it looks like we took the path that had more points to it. Nice. So it's in here? More jewels and coins. Yeah. Now, uh, Spitfire, as we've mentioned before... Well, oh, crap spikes. This explains why uh, Spitfire didn't disappear. Well, anyway. Spitfire basically does his Rainbow Dash's dash attack. Now, I don't quite remember if uh, Spitfire is stronger than Rainbow Dash. I'll have to take a look at that later.
Now, of course, I'm trying to find the uh, Chaos Emerald, but I don't quite remember where it's at. It should have been somewhere off to our left, but I can't quite remember which part of the wall it was in. Eh, oh well. Guess we're going without it. And look, we made it out of the cave. Woohoo, indeed. Alright, now the thing about these hidden levels is, you can only do them once. Once they're completed, they're done. Well, with the game saved, let's take a look at our uh, next area. Now, of course, you see it skipping there because I was searching a couple of levels to see if there was a secret that I thought I could get to. But, I did access a new area in there, but it wasn't the secret I wanted, so we're not going to see it. It was just more coins and such. Now, this one up on the hill, I should have seen coming in the first uh, time I played this, because it was so obvious it was there. So, I'll take the hit for missing that entirely. So, let's get ourselves a new character for this round. Let's see, who we got? Hmm... I think Twilight Spark will do. And let's go back with Celestia. And boo. Now these are this is one of the couple of levels where you can get a crap ton of jewels, and you will need a crap ton of jewels in order to get to the uh, bonus area. That's really all there is to this uh, place. There's no enemies around, just to uh, climb up, grab fruits, grab coins, grab jewels. Again, I can't believe I missed this. But whatever. Let's go forward. Let's see, what do we gotta go next? Oh, that's right. Canterlot. Now, there is something here that we haven't seen yet. We're gonna be on our way to get uh, another hidden character. And this next hidden one is, um... Well will be my favorite once we actually get to it. And I'll show you why once we see him. But we gotta find the access point first. Ah, here we are. Now when I first found this, I thought it was kind of a glitch in this area. But what you're really doing is following an invisible path. So you really can't go everywhere on, off the map here. Just go down the path that's directed. And we're almost there. I just gotta remember where to go when I'm in here. Up oh, there we go. Alright, so we're at the pit. Let's see what's inside. Select a character. Here we got ominous music playing. Nice. Can't go up there right now, it's fine. So the pit contains a bunch of one ups. Hmm. You know. I don't think that's all this place has. I mean, with the ominous music, the way it sounds and everything, I think there sh should be something more than just one-ups. So let's try again. 
This time, let's see what happens if we hug the left wall. Yeah. Now, if you remember how we got Celestia, you'd probably forget how we got this. Same way. Ah, uh, here we are. This does not look foreboding at all. Of course, I got a lock with assuming platforms that uh, just to pop out. Those must be the time platforms to go with the button right over here. All right, so let's go. See if we can make this within that time we have. All right. And there's our next pony. Chained up and muzzled up. Huh. Alright. That's all the pit really has for us. So let's head back. Here we go. Getting lost in there a little bit. But we're out. Now, our next little bit will require us to go onto a balloon once we get to one. And of course, I can't figure out how to use the balloon here, so... I guess we'll have to find another location. I think we'll go to the Badlands. We used the balloon there once before. And let's go on a little ride. There's San Palomino Desert. There's the Blue Germ Casino. Ooh, what's this? There we go. Hmm. Interesting. Select a character. Oh, and check it out. We unlocked the character off to the left there. We're gonna put Celestia as our partner. And we're going to find our new character. Ah! Reaper. Attack 10. Defense 9. What the hell is this? Can you kill him? Ah. Oh. So. We can't kill Goombas with our Reaper attack. But. The size is as cool as I. As you can spam it. A whole lot. And plus, it's somewhat ranged. That's our uh, special for the Reaper. I think it's like a portable black hole. But apparently, no normal means of attack can kill these guys. Apparently, only Maro jumping will do. Oh well. Now here's a fun fact, you cannot actually set Reaper as a partner, even though every other pony can be set as a partner. Reaper is the only one that won't be a partner to, any to anybody. Oh well. So let's see what's in this funnel little funnel area here for this. Select a character. I'll keep Celestia. Nope. Yeah, see, I'm trying to set her as a partner, but we can't. Because I know what we need in, in this next area. And we need someone that can break blocks, which Reaper can't. But, Celestia can. And we're gonna bring, um, Trixie just for the fun of it. Aw. 
Oh. Alright, let's try this again. I think those lasers can't do anything. Now, as far as I recall, this is pretty much a somewhat faithful recreation of 1-2 from Super Mario Brothers for Nintendo. There are a couple differences, but I guess it would have to be a couple differences to fit in with the game. Like right here, we're missing the red blocks that go up and down, or red platforms. Now be careful jumping while jumping up the pipe while you blow up, because it will still exit the level. Now there's a secret here, if you just keep going right. Don't ask me how a normal person is supposed to know the secrets here. I guess it's expected that we would try to find the edge of the map or either side. And see what's there. Now look, it's a whole bunch of coins. In fact, it's approximately 11,000 coins. But we still don't have enough to get to the secret area, or to the bonus area. And now these pipes don't work. Alright, and that was the Mario-related levels for this game. Switch around, there's no more around. And let's go. Ah, oh, the diamond dog. We'll get to him eventually. Stop. Hmm. Hey, is that a secret level? Hell yeah. Let's see what's over here. Select the character. Of course, going to go back in as the Reaper. Maybe we'll finally destroy some. Ah, uh, frick! No enemies yet. Alright, you win this round, but I'll be back. Oh, I'll be back. Alright. So, for next up, we're going to the Blue Gym Casino. Now, there is a pony here we can get, but we have to play the slots to get it. Let's just make our way over to it. Alright, there's the checkpoint. Will I get lucky? Come on. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh. No... Yeah! That, there, those three uh, gamepads are going to be important to us in a moment. Yeah... See, by getting those three Nintendo controllers, we have actually unlocked our next pony. I still like the Reaper's attack.
Alright, so what's left to go to? Alright, so we picked up enough jewel or gems as it were to get past the diamond dog. So the best way to get the 150,000 diamonds that you need... You can go to the final level of uh, Cloudsdale. And if you remember the uh, top area where there was like uh, multiple Chaos Emeralds... You can normally net about 10,000 so gems per visit. Let's go with... Uh, no, that's not good enough. Oh, check it out. We get Mega Mare. So we got Vinyl Scratch and Celestia. There's nothing much we can do here. We just gotta give Down Dog his money. And wait as our money just drains away. And there we go. 150 gems lost. Yeah. But we unlocked the next area. Select a character. Now we're actually going to break out the hidden ponies on this menu here. We're just going to select Mega Mare as our partner. And we're going to move down the list to our second character select screen. That's right. We got OC ponies. So let's start ourselves out with a Stargazer here. Now Stargazer is slimmer to another pony uh, that isn't an OC pony. But her charge attack doesn't break the game like the other one will. Now Mega Mare here is pretty much Mega Man in pony form. However, Mega Mare does not have a charge shot. Now this level is interesting as it has a freeze mechanic as you've been seeing. When we're looking in a cold area like so, we start freezing to death. Oh and getting shot by lasers that are helped out by cannons that put you in ice. You gotta be very careful there. Anywho. Just like drowning, you will most likely start losing HP if you stay in the cold too long. So let's see if we can get past these lasers this time. Alright, here we are. Let's do this. Ow. Oh, wow. Okay, I think we can just take them off off screen or right there. Oh. Darn that freeze block. Right, let's try this again. This time we will make it past. We won't let that freeze gun defeat us twice. Or a third, time for that matter. Go. 
go. So, you can actually, as you saw, that you can take out the laser just by keeping him really off screen where he won't activate. Of course, we still gotta keep an eye on our temperature meter there to make sure we don't freeze ourselves to death. And we've entered the teleporter maze. Okay. Yay! Now that be might be the last Master Emerald we get. It's not the last one in the game, that's for sure, but it's the last one I can actually find and reach. Alright, looks like we're almost out of here. Now this looks like it's a faith-based jump, but it's just a platform jumping now. And of course, since I forgot to use the lantern, it looks like I'm almost dead. Oh, but we made it to the end of the level before it killed me. Alright, well that was a dangerous fun fest. So... Let's save... And let's get going. Select a character. Now, if you also, we've unlocked Spike, but it's and the only difference between Spike and everyone else is Spike can do a wall jump. Yes, yeah, so we got Rift. I don't think I want to use Rift for this. Go with Scarlet Satellite and uh, ooh, yeah. All right, let's play. Now, Scarlet Satellite can shoot boulders. That's really it. I've tried activating Scarlet's uh, charge attack, but I don't think it has one in this version. Oh well. However, the real friend here is the, uh, was it Spirit Fire? Who's our partner pony? I think. I think they have a flamethrower, which means I can, you can constantly damage enemies with it. And the flamethrower doesn't die. So think on that for a moment there. That probably makes it one of the strongest weapons in the game. At least in terms of killing people off quickly. With the checkpoint. Now this level is kind of tough. There's going to be a jump coming up, which is very easy to not make, especially if you're not sprint jumping. Should be right after this. Okay, maybe not right here, but we'll get to it. Not this one. I know it's around here somewhere. Right, that one was my fault. That one was clearly my fault. Ugh. We still get some sweet, sweet jewels. Now here's another fun fact. By hitting escape, you can actually exit the map, or exit the level. You don't have to beat the level to do it. And you can do it right after you hit a checkpoint. And as long as you don't move off the dot, you can, you can come right back to the checkpoint. It's very good for those who want to like farm for crystals and such, or gems. Like you can do in Cloudsdale. Well, having to do the level multiple times. 
because you can click the jumps you need, exit the level, come right back to the checkpoint, and do it all over again. Alright, and that's the end of this area. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how to get rid of that rock off to the right, so we can't actually reach the underneath and get our other very well-hidden pony. Oh well. Now, before we go, we got one last thing to do here. The one boss I haven't been able to spam to death. We're going to see how Reaper fares. And yes, I still like Reaper Roo because her attacks murder everybody. I think it's faster than Slice's laser attack. I'm not saying something. Now, of course, since we can triple jump, we can go up that route, but there's nothing there, it just leads backwards. Anyway, we're nearing the end of the level anyway. We got the three churches here. And we're almost at 20,000 again. But not quite. Alright, let's see how this boss fares. boss doesn't fare well at all. <laughs> ah, I think that means I've spam killed every boss in this game. Yay! Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little series as much as I have. And I'll see you guys next time.